Hey, welcome to RichardBankerWebDesign.com. Today we are looking at Fox Contact Form and how to set up a Fox Contact Form using the Menu Manager. This is just a general overview. I'm not going to get into too much detail, just the basics. So we've installed our Contact Form and uh, the way that this is set up is uh, by going to our Menu Manager. I'm going to use the top one here log back in. I've got my top one here. I'm going to create a new menu. And when I create a new menu, I'm going to select, scroll down here, uh, the Fox Contact page as my menu item type. Contact form. I'm just going to call it contact form so we know which one it is. And then I'm going to hit save. Now, why do you want to use Fox Contact Form? Basically, you want a lot more uh, variety in what you can do. It's a lot more user friendly. You can add a bunch more things than the standard contact component can. I'm just going to pull up here. This is the standard contact Joomla form. And you can see it's got name, email, subject, message, all that stuff, but it's it's really basic and probably won't suit your needs if you're looking for something a little more complex. So with the, the Fox contact form, uh, we can do all that. So here's a rundown of what we've got on the right hand side. The basic, all these options on the right, this is where you set up your form. Really easy, simple to do. Email to, this is your email addresses. You can put a couple different ones in there. You can also add a subject line. If you want to add multiple email addresses in here, throw a comma in between them and you can put multiple email addresses all the way through. Then in our form fields we've got contact us, the form width, whether you want it to be the entire width or you can set pixels or percentages on everything. Uh, this form width controls the overall width of the entire form. Uh, you'll see further down for each of the sections that there will be width units that you can control here and this this way you can actually make those a lot smaller as you go along. Now your page top text first your page subheading contact us and your page top text if you want more information you can put HTML in this field if you want. If you go to the front end you can see where that stuff shows up. So here's our contact us here's your page top text and then your page bottom text is right down here. So that's where those two show up on the form. Then you also have the option here of field labels and you can say beside the fields or inside the fields. This is an example of beside the fields. If you want inside the fields they'll actually show up right here. Then your sender name and email address. This is, you know, the standard things they'll fill in. So if you want them to say name requests, your email, you can change those. You can set it for each of these options. You can set if they're required, optional, disabled will mean it won't show up on the form at all. So within the basic options here, you have the basic sender name and email address. Then you have your text fields. Then you have drop down lists. Then you have your text area, check boxes. And you can also enable attachments as well. So if you enable attachments, uh, people can add attachments to the form, obviously. Then your set a submit button, you can put an icon with that. So we want to add one with a tick circle. And I'm just going to go back up to the top and save this so you can see what it looks like. So we've added attachments to this form so you can browse files now and attach something. And I've also got a submit button with a little, I'll scroll up, I've got a submit button down here with a little check mark. Uh, you can add a reset button as well if you want. Uh, the next drop down here is events. 
Uh, after the form is submitted, what do you want to happen? Do you want it to have thank you text, the custom thank you page? If you select that, then you have to uh, connect to a menu item down here. You can also have it so that it you know, says thank you and then redirects to another page. Then you can say if you want them to send an email to the submitter, what you want to do. And you can also uh, include a data summary, although that's not recommended. For security, you've got a basic anti-spam system, works pretty good. Uh, you can pick out keywords or key things that you don't want to show up, as well as uh, add basic CAPTCHA to a form. Advance the options and newsletter integration. So if you have ACY mailing, you can set this up to subscribe automatically or whatever with your mailing with JNews, all those different types of things. Hit save and close and your form is up and running. It's that easy to get your form working. And so now we've got this contact form on our page. If you need more information or you need uh, someone to set up a form for you, contact me. Visit my website, richardbankerwebdesign.com.